Oh, I'm so excited. You guys look so cute. What is the mood you're trying to create here? Editorial looks for sure because of the blazers. And I just love putting the flowers on them. I feel like adding flowers to your photo shoot just like amplifies it and makes it more feminine. Okay. I love flowers. I actually got it from Elise, which is another photographer. She's like my best friend. She started using flowers in her photo shoots and I was like, that's a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiring one another. Always. <laughs> All right, get ready. Let's go on the shoot. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Yulani Sanchez. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Yulani double underscore Sanchez, uh, which is my photography page. You can also find me on Facebook, which is Yulani Sanchez. And I have a website, YulaniSanchezPhotography.com. I am located in Boynton Beach, Florida, or Palm Beach County, Florida. I have been doing photography for around four to five years, I wanna say. I started with my best friend, Elise. She got me into it, and ever since then, I've just been doing it. I was all self-taught. I went on YouTube and started following a bunch of photographers and seeing what they were doing and trying out new different things. Like, I first started doing light painting photography. I thought that was really cool, so I experimented a lot when I first started trying to figure out what my niche was and even today I'm still trying to figure it out but I love doing portraits and I love doing TFP shoes when I want concepts that I want to portray but I love doing family portraits and couples and engagement I love all that <laughs> honestly lifestyle photography is my go-to you know getting those beautiful moments like with your family or your children it's fun to capture those candid moments but they're not really candid because you're telling people prompts of what to do <laughs> that's like the behind the scenes secret <laughs> you have to give those prompts because if you don't it's hard to get those candid moments i find inspiration from other photographers and pinterest a lot i'm always scrolling on pinterest and looking at different themes or different concept that I want to do or I'll like twist it and like come up with it like my own way but I really really enjoy like taking photos of like families and couples it's like really what I want to do but other than that if I like end up getting an opportunity to work with a magazine or a fashion designer I would love to do that that's like my main dream is to work with like a fashion designer or like a company to travel the world and take photos for them for their magazines or whatever like that's my dream. <laughs> so I know you already explained what inspires you, but I feel like flowers had a huge part of your inspiration in your past yeah, couple of shoots. I love flowers. It just brings like the femininity in photos. I mean, if you're a male or a female, it doesn't really matter, but I feel like it enhances your photos a lot. And I just, I don't know, ever since like Elise started bringing flowers into her photo shoots, I saw what it does to her photographs, so I kind of like implemented it as well. And oh, I love it. <laughs> and you have a strong working relationship with your bestie. Right? Yes, yes. We do photo shoots together. We do weddings together. She's my partner in crime. She's also on my website. I have her in my about me and I have a link to her website as well. That's beautiful that yeah. you guys really support each other that's a huge part in like being an artist in general yeah definitely she's like my support system and I'm her support system <laughs> <laughs> always and forever so that's your network right there yeah she's my babe <laughs> she really is and that's how I met you honestly yeah, yeah. that's how I met you because she was like oh I'm doing a photo shoot with this bottle and I'm like can I come <laughs> anytime like we do a collaboration we'll do our own concepts the same day and record for each other and or we'll just do the same concept and just have a collaboration on both a lot of photographers you know they have their own different types of styles or editing and things like that so it all depends that's why you know when you go for like a wedding and you look at different photographers and their style you're going based off of that when you're hiring them so that's a lot to take into consideration like i love my editing style and i don't really want to change it but some people will be like, you know, I don't like this. I'm like, okay, well, what about this? I try to accommodate what my clients want because I want to make them happy. How do you get your clients? Oh, that's a great question. And it's so hard, honestly. It is so hard. I just try to post on my social media all the time just to get clients. It's usually a lot of word of mouth. Like if I worked with a client before, they'll recommend me to their family members or their friends. Um, with my coworkers, I try to get them to also hire me. 
but I have a really hard time with networking as well as advertising. Advertising is so hard. I almost want to hire somebody to help me advertise so I can get more clients because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so you more of word of mouth. Yeah, it's a lot word of mouth right now, but I do want to advertise more so I can get clients that I don't know. You know, I'm on TikTok all the time. That's how I put out my social media is on TikTok and on Reels on Instagram. But I think I've gotten one client from TikTok. She wanted her engagement shoot at a winery. So I went up there and did that. She's like, I found you on TikTok. I'm like, what? That's amazing. It's so awesome. I love when I hear that when they find me on TikTok because it's usually, you know, through someone else or on Facebook or on Instagram. So working with families and a lot of kids, how do you make them feel comfortable with you to shoot with you? You made us feel very comfortable. I mean, with families, I always tell them just to relax and I, I give a lot of prompts. That's what I do. I give so many prompts to my clients. I don't want them to feel like it's a photo shoot. I want them to feel that they're just having a fun day at wherever we are and have fun with it. It's not serious. It's to have fun, to get those candid moments because that's what I want. Kids is so hard working with because they never sit still, but that's okay because you can get them running around or jumping you know, on their mom or jumping on their dad. Like Those are those candid moments that I love. I mean, I've had some bad experiences with kids, but you know what? Give them time to do whatever they want to do because you have to. You have to let that kid just run around, do what they want, and then at a certain moment, if they come running to you, I'm like, okay, I'm here, let me grab the photos. And then I'll be like, okay, give mommy a kiss on the cheek, give her a hug, da 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 da. And then it makes it easier. Oh, you need that time frame with kids. You do. They have this much attention span. <laughs> I could not say that. As an artist, we face a lot of criticism. People won't always like every photo you take. And yeah. how do you handle that criticism? Do what you love. And if you have bad criticism from someone, just take it into consideration because that will help you grow. It will help you grow into a better artist, honestly. Working and dealing with photo shoots and I don't know, a personal life, <laughs> how do you maintain that balance? Uh, my balance, working nine to five, Monday through Friday, weekends are my photography shoots. <laughs> Editing, I do after work and sometimes I'll do photo shoots after work because right now there's daylight after 5 p.m. <laughs> what is your dream shoot? My dream shoots? Honestly, I have multiple. <laughs> I have multiple dream shoots. I want to travel the world, and if I had like a model or a fashion designer just to travel the world and go to those beautiful locations and take photos of their dresses or their garments, that would be my dream. <laughs> I pray that my photography blows up because that's what I really want to do. That's what I want my career to be. That's going to be you one day. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> okay. How has art impacted your mental health? I love art. I used to do arts and crafts, you know, along with photography, and it helps so much. Like, if you're ever feeling down or depressed, I do arts and crafts, I do a project, I do photography, and it fills me with so much joy. <laughs> Anything you would like to say about yourself, about your art, to others? Um, hire me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hire me. Um, I mean, I mm, don't regret hiring a photographer. Don't ever regret it because they're going to get those moments that you're going to remember forever. And that's the best thing in the world a photographer can do is capture those moments for you in your life, with your family, with your friends. Like, that's the best just to capture that for them, you know? <laughs> How was it like working with us? Oh my God, I had so much fun with you guys. It was great. I love that you guys did your makeup. It was beautiful and you guys did the posing so well and you had fun and that's all I care about is that you guys had fun. That's what I want is just to have fun during all my sessions and you guys did so great. <laughs> Here are today's editorial photo shoot results. I had such a great time modeling with my cousin Nika and shooting with Alani. If you like today's content, please hit that subscribe button along with a thumbs up. Make sure to check out our socials in the description below and drop a comment, email, and or DM me if you have any other artists, creatives, business owners, or interesting people I should interview next.
Thanks for watching. Enjoy the bloopers. How did you feel about your shoot? Like your first like shoot? Uh, it was really fun. It was very empowering actually with like the suit and you know, having no shirt on. It just felt really free. So it was cool. Had fun. <laughs> Excited to see the pictures. A cousin photo shoot. Sisters. 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 <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pull your elbows together. Like, no, like that. <laughs> there you go. See, I knew there was a right way to say yeah. that. <laughs> it's on the grass. <laughs> got four minutes. There we go. Stay. <laughs> Photography, you know, ends up. Replacing that, which would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bird. I oh, love it! So cute. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that a dog? It's a dog has a hat! Oh, it's a little like winning. <laughs> Can I take a video of that? Like a little. Yeah. Ah! I have it's to. Fun. It's so cute! Good. What's his name? Andy. Yeah. Oh, really? So cute. Like,